Hey guys, Amos here and in the chill zone today we're going to be talking about of course Origin Trail and the beautiful work that they have been doing. I'm so excited to talk about this one in particular because it's just so massive. Granted, most of the other news, all of the other news are super massive but this one is just exciting as Oracle is involved. And well yeah, it's just amazing. So today we're going to be talking about automated payments leveraging blockchain. However, we're going to start with the origin trail well, the use cases that they have presented, which is milk payments. Now let's dive into this and then we're going to dive into some other parts of this article and other discussions, but let's begin. So milk payment is a complex process and the price of milk to be paid to a farmer depends on multiple factors. The quality of the milk, the quantity of the shipment, farm size and negotiated margins all play a part in every single delivery that farmers make. Additionally, these deliveries are taken in and processed by different organizations like farmers, agriculture cooperatives, dairies and testing laboratories. All of this means that the current way of handling payment towards the farmer still involves significant manual effort to verify all inputs and ensure the right process is respected. The Origin Trail Decentralized Knowledge Graph, together with smart contract capabilities of Oracle Hyperledger Fabric, promises to improve this process end-to-end -end and provide a trusted compensation solution. Of course, the Smart Agri Hubs is the largest European Union project focusing on digitizing the agri-food sector um, as a part of the flagship and innovation experiments. Now, we will be diving a bit more into those flagship and innovation experiments. But before we do that, let's dive into a little bit of what exactly is smart, smart agri hubs? What are they doing in Europe and why do they care about origin trail and the decentralized knowledge graph? Let's begin. The COVID-19 pandemic has exposed the vulnerabilities in the European agri food industry. It has disrupted our food supply chain and affected the lives of people working in the sector. Guaranteed access to fresh food is more important than ever. It is not only hotels, bars and restaurants that are struggling. Travel restrictions are also causing severe labour shortages in the agri-food sector. The COVID-19 pandemic and the ongoing climate emergency require a more sustainable agri-food system. The twin challenge of resilience and sustainability in agriculture can be achieved through digital innovation. This is how the Smart AgriHubs community responded. The creation of online marketplaces allows the most vulnerable members of society to satisfy their basic needs in an efficient way, as our digital innovation hub Pays de la Loire has shown. The use of robotics, precision agriculture and online matchmaking services can address critical labour shortages. Our flagship innovation experiment, Autonomous Greenhouses, tackles this. Most of the solutions will encompass a digital application, whether it is through data-driven platforms, AI-based tools or matchmaking algorithms, the potential is enormous. Smart AgriHub's digital innovation hubs across Europe assist in the development of these solutions and foresee what is needed to bring these promising ideas to the market. Thousands of organisations and individuals have joined up within the scope of this project. The innovation portal helps to deliver a digitalised European agri-food sector that remains efficient yet is still resilient and sustainable. The community is expanding enormously. Join us and be part of this sustainable wave. So, Smart Agri Hubs is obviously, as we said, it's funded by the European Union under the Horizon 2020, and its aim is to bring digitization into the agri food sector of Europe, of the EU. Now, uh, the project coordinator for the Smart Argue Hubs had this to say, well, Smart Argue Hubs will not only increase the competitiveness and sustainability of Europe's agri-food sector, it will become the fourth industrial revolution. So they're thinking really big. They're thinking longevity. You know, they're thinking this is really the future of food. It aims to deliver 18 new digital solutions to the market raise 30 million additional funding from public, regional, national and private sources and plan to digitize over, over 2 million farms spread across Europe. So this is big. We're talking big numbers. Global, we're talking 
global adoption size numbers <laughs> you know this is massive crypto has yet to see these kind of numbers of adoption so yeah this is really exciting so i wanted to know more about well, if you're watching this video you should want to know more about their um flagship experiments what exactly are flagship innovation experiments so let's dive into what exactly these flagship innovation experiments are and why do they matter are they a big deal should anyone should we care that a project is a part of these flagship innovation experiments well the answer is yes and here's why flagship innovation experiments serve as a bench serve as benchmarks for other innovation experiments to strive towards this is where technology solutions are put into practice. Flagship innovation experiments are conducted with the help of digital innovation hubs, which facilitate access to the latest knowledge, enterprise, and technology. Now let's move forward. Now there are 28 different flagship experiments. Now eventually the products created by these experiments will be introduced into the market and the research and information gathered will be shared with other relevant experiments across Europe thanks to the in intricate ecosystem network established by smart agri hubs. So when we're talking about if it's a big deal to be a part of this, yes, they're basically going to shill your technology for you. They're going to market your technology, get you the partners, get you the interest in your technology and adoption at the government, state, le public, every level of the EU, of EU. This is the level of adoption you're going to be getting by participating in these levels of um, these these systems, these these um these projects. So let's talk about the project that they're uh, doing with Origin Trail. So here's the evidence. To demonstrate the value of exchange data between stakeholders along the supply chain, this flagship innovation experiment, FIE, FIE decentralizes trust with the use of blockchain technology by implementing and utilizing origin trailed protocols into complex supply chains in dairy as well as poultry sector. So we're gonna stop right there as we return to this article which basically discusses the solution the co-developed solution by oracle oracle hyperledger oracle blockchain pretty much origin trail and smart agri hubs now i remember back when we were reading the roadmap for origin trail we were like trusted oracle framework permission system oh we were like yeah dude oracle is gonna be um origin trail is gonna be an oracle like chain like Little do we know they're going to be doing even more complex things, achieving even bigger things in Chainlink um, in a much more complex way. Now we're going to dive into why and how is this true? So let's dive into this particular portion here. Um, enhancing trust in the process among supply chain partners, Origin Trail utilizes the DKG as a middle ground for handling key compensation inputs with integrity. So what's happening is the origin trail is basically sitting between um, enterprises, businesses, uh, industry, and as well farmers, right? And it's facilitating these payments to these farmers, leveraging the origin trail decentralized network combined with the origin of um, the Oracle Hyperledger uh, fabric, which is insane. Think about the scale of this. So let's break this down from the perspective of this image. We'll stick here just to ensure that you guys understand everything I'm saying right now. Now, as a farmer, you're operating basically within the one area, right? You're submitting your information to the origin trail um, decentralized network or the ERP systems. I'm sorry, you're submitting your information to these systems so that you can get paid for the work you've done. Well, after you sent off your product, number two kind of takes place where they test your product to see, you know, what's the the, the levels of proteins in your milk, uh, what's the quality of the milk, you know, um, things like, you know, what's the batch ID, what's this, this, what is the amount of fat in the milk, and so so forth. And based on the quality and quantity of that milk, the Origin Trail um, decentralized network can then move on to number. Three, because you because the Origin Trail decentralized network allows all these businesses and all these entities to speak a singular language because of the structure of it, because of the because of the standards that it supports, 
the data from these ERP systems are then converted to something that the ordinary network understands and can digest. Now we move on to the part of where we want to issue this payment. So, well, we know that one is complete. We know that two is complete and we know that, well, we're trying to do number three. We're trying to issue that payment. So what we're going to do is because Origin Trail, because Oracle Hyperledger is basically a blockchain network with smart contracts, you can basically put the requirements for your payment in there, right? So let's say I need, before I issue the payment, I need to have uh, a payment, a milk of a quality of 10 fats per meter or whatever, or per, per liter. So let's say I don't want to issue any payments until I have 10 gallons of milk in my repository. I can check that, hey, the Ordinary Trail Decentralized Network tells me that this, this farmer by this particular ID has issued 10 gallons of milk at this fat content, at this protein content, and thus this is the payment that should be released. Thus payment is calculated and money is distributed automatically. No more manual labor, none of that, all of that is, is gone leveraging the Ordinary Trail Decentralized Network. Now let's read exactly how the Ordinary Trail ecosystem describes this. Each of the involved IT systems, the Dairy ERP, the Cooperative ERP, and the Cooperative Contractual Data exports data in its existing format towards the NAS. Once it reaches NAS, data gets restructured for interoperability and prepared for publishing on the Ordinary Trail Decentralized Knowledge Graph. This is where people got confused and probably got lost. People probably thought this was just a milk payment solution. You're absolutely incorrect. Let's read this particular portion here. Oracle blockchain, Oracle blockchain platform allows for ease and quick setup of Hyperledger Fabric Permission blockchain, which is the right choice for such a consortium focused use case. Integrating NAS with the Oracle blockchain platform instance is seamless and done with a secure connection. Smart contracts that have been deployed can include all required business rules to be able to perform trusted computation as they are not publicly accessible outside the consortium. So private entities maintain their privacy, they maintain their sovereignty while connected to this global expansive data ocean of verifiable linked data. And they're able to issue commands and uh, more complicated processes because of smart contract capability as a result of Hyperledger. And they get access to off-chain data, basically like Chainlink, but better because we're not just trying to get one set or one type of data. We are able to onboard massive amounts of off-chain data into the Origin Trail Decentralized Network that is verified. And then the Origin Trail Decentralized Network becomes this ocean, this big, super massive ocean of verified data that anyone can connect to and begin to feed information or steal or not steal or take information from for smart contract uh, functionality. So, so check this out, as it says here, this way, Origin Trail Decentralized Network Graph effectively acts as an oracle providing trusted data that has been published by relevant organizations in the form of verifiable credentials. Once the cooperative is ready to make a payment, NOS takes the required payment data out of Oracle Hyperledger Fabric blockchain and restructures it into a payment file that can be uploaded for issuing SEPA payments with the bank. Now, for those of you who may not, what is a verifi verifiable credential? We'll be getting deep into that into this channel. SSI is going to be raining on the channel for quite some time, but this is what your verifiable credential would look like as we saw earlier. You, here you can see the farmer ID, you can see the particular batch, you can see the date, you can see the amount of fat protein. And what uh, this is basically saying is this data is verified because it's on the Origin or, or the Trail Decentralized Network and it's a credential because it's making claims about the milk. It's making claims that this milk has this amount of fat. It's making claims that this milk has this amount of proteins. Uh, and it's making the claim that this is the analysis result for this particular batch of payment. Thus, this is a verifiable credential. Thus, I can take this data and say, well, I know this is real. I know this is valid. I'm going to issue you a payment of $10 for your work. Now, or now this 
I am so excited to see what Origin Trail is doing. Origin Trail is more than just a blockchain or crypto project. They're more than just an Oracle. They are the Oracle of Oracles, the king of Oracles. I would say they are the original Oracle from Batman that helped Batman conquer the world. You know that Oracle, the one that got disabled with no legs? Yeah, that's Origin Trail, but like we got legs. <laughs> Anyway, so guys, like, share, and subscribe. I really, really, I'm so excited. And, well, we have some pretty big news that came out today. Apparently, we will be seeing our first demo, like real live demo, joint uh, announcements between Origin Trail and Oracle on the first demo of this payment going live, leveraging hype leveraging the origin trail decentralized network and hyperledger fabric are you excited comment down below guys do you think that origin trail is a top 10 project comment down below let me know once again have a good time guys i know you thought you bought vj nah. this is origin trail come on i know you